You should tell them about the, um, when you landed it in the water. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you had a water landing? Yes. With an A1? With an A1. Man, you must have I may have been everywhere. the only person ever ditched an A1. Um, the story starts out like this. I was getting ready to fly one day, and my boss happened to come walk by and said, Hey, I noticed, Mike, that you aren't wearing a Mae West, the little other Mae West that we had when you go flying. And you're not setting a good example for the Vietnamese pilots. And I thought to myself, well, crap, we'll never fly over the water. <laughs> well, we do sometimes. We take off over the water, but we come right back to land. Anyway, two weeks later, I was taken off one day, and the engine quit. It didn't completely quit, but it was going chuck, 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 just barely. I had no, I lost the power right away. And I had four or five hundred pound bombs on board. So I was jettisoning them. There's a lever that you pull to jettison them. And uh, I could see that I wasn't going to make it to the runway anymore. In fact, I could see I wasn't even going to make it to the shore. And I ended up ditching it. And the Navy, I remember from the, uh, studying that, that there were 11 steps in the ditching procedures. And I got through five when the, <laughs> when the engine hit, or when the airplane hit. Um, one of the things that happened that night, I was at the officers' club, and I was talking to some guys that ran an army fuel dump on the beach, consisting of 55,000 gallon bladders in a star-shaped thing. There were five of them, and motor in the They would offload the fuel from the ships, and then they would fill up with that the, the trucks and the tanks and so on. And I was heading right for them. They said they were bailing out of it because they thought I was going to come in and land right in the middle of that thing. And I probably would have if I hadn't gotten all the bombs off. Two of the bombs didn't fall off. Only out of four, two of them did. And they were the two that were on the stubs, so they stuck out quite a bit like this. In fact, I could have seen them if I had looked out like that, uh, that they were still there. But that made the, nose, the airplane dose heavy. When I got checked out by the Navy, they said this airplane will float forever. Don't worry about it. You can just float and float and float. Well, I was in the, it, it landed in the water, and then I noticed that I, the waves were like this. I had time to go, and I was underwater, still in the cockpit. And that was really something. I said, oh my God, I'm still in the cockpit. Well, then you have to unstrap, and your, your hands get wet, uh, and leather gloves are real slippery. I finally got out. I tried to unbuckle my uh, parachute. I couldn't unbuckle. It was too slippery. And I could see the surface up there a little ways. And I'm a good swimmer. I said, oh, no problem. And I could see I wasn't making any room at all, not moving at all. I said, oh, my God, I'm going to drown. Finally, I remembered that under our Bay Weston. <laughs> and I popped it up right up to the top. And uh, by the way, I, one reason that I, saw, that I couldn't swim like that, I had combat boots on, an ammo belt full of ammo, a, a gun. Uh, two or four, three or four knives. I had a, all kinds of knives and uh, radios. I, I, I weighed the stuff one time and took my, weighed myself and then took my uniform, took this all off and weighed them again. 14 pounds that weighed. That was enough to keep you from being able to swim anything. Not to mention the drag. I mean, and that's a lot when you yeah. start trying to move through the water and yeah. with anything. The other thing is that. Uh, I don't remember that everyone back and told my colonel, <laughs> thank you for telling me to, to, to wear the Bay West. <laughs> oh, I bet you wish you did, didn't you? Oh, boy. Yeah. yeah. Wow. You survived a water landing. That is, uh, I, I have not met anybody that went into the water. I don't, with I, the I think I'm the only A1 that's ever ditched one, yeah. You are in some big company here. <laughs> that's definitely a mark you could set. Yeah. <laughs> There's a couple of guys that might try to sit, you know, jump in there right now and, and see if they could do the same thing, you know. There's some <laughs> crazy guys in that room. Yeah, yeah. All right, so anything else that uh, you're hiding there that you can bring out and tell me? Any kind of cool 